Good morning, students. Uh, now we are going to discuss about the last topic from the optical instruments, that is a telescope. In previous class, we discussed about simple microscope and compound microscope. Now we are going to discuss about telescope. So, what is telescope? Telescope is nothing but it is an optical instrument used to see the distant objects clearly and magnified. Okay. So, what is telescope? It is an optical instrument used to see the distant objects the distant objects like uh, celestial bodies, sun, stars, planets, so on and also trees, houses or the earth okay. It is an optical instrument used to see the distant objects clearly and magnified. Clearly and magnified. Now, there are two types of telescopes. Those are refracting telescope and reflecting telescope. In refracting telescope, we are going to use the lenses. And in case of reflecting telescope, we are going to use the curved mirrors. Curved mirrors means spectral mirrors. Okay. Now, in the refracting telescope, we are going to discuss about first one that is an astronomical telescope. What do you mean by astronomical telescope? It is the telescope used to see the celestial bodies like the sun, planets, and the stars. Okay. So, what is astronomical te telescope? Now we are going to discuss about astronomical telescope. Then what do you mean by astronomical telescope? It is an optical instrument used to see used to see the celestial bodies. Celestial bodies like Like stars, sun, planets, and it is. We are going to see the celestial bodies here. Stars, sun, planets, and it is. Okay, it is called astronomical telescope. Then, what is the construction of astronomical telescope? Means, what are the essential parts present in the astronomical telescope? Construction. It consists of two convex lenses. Astronomical telescope consists of two convex lenses. One convex lens is called objective and another convex lens is called eyepiece. So the convex lens which is facing the object is called objective and the lens which is facing the eye that is called eyepiece. Okay. And here in case of compound microscope objective lens having the short focal length and small aperture. But in case of telescope, the objective lens has the large aperture and the large focal length. Okay, it is the difference between the compound microscope and telescope. It consists of two convex lenses and also called converging lenses. Convex lenses. First one, that is an objective lens. And also simply it is called objective. Then what do you mean by objective here? It is the convex lens which is facing the object. It is the convex lens which is facing means which is towards which is facing the object. And it has large aperture and large focal length it has large aperture large aperture means here the area available, the area available for the refraction is maximum means the lens having the maximum area for the refraction of light it has large aperture aperture means here the area available for refraction
direction of light. It has a large aperture and a large focal length. But in case of compound microscope, it is a different. In case of compound microscope, the objective lens having the small aperture and small focal length. But here, in case of telescope, the objective lens having the large aperture and a large focal length, it is very important. So next one, second one that is called eyepiece. Second part of science is called eyepiece.
it is a hypothesis so whenever these rays fall on the eyepiece now again the rays undergo refraction these refracted rays appears to be came from a point i will explain them these two refracted rays will be meet at a point at that point the final image of the distant object is formed here the final image of the distant object is formed then what is the focal length of i piece here means principal focus of i piece that is a ap and this side also it is a ap now see here the image formed by the objective lens acts as a object for the i piece now where is the image now image is in between optical center of i piece and the principal focus of the i piece then if the object in between principal focus and optical center then its image should be formed behind the object Okay, so we had this one. They are images, final images for the. Yes, at what distance images is for? That is called which distance of distinct vision. That can be taken as capital D. That can be taken as capital D. And I will take one more ray. That is from the optical center. Okay, then. Now we are going to discuss about. the optical center of objective is that can be taken as o and it is a objective and it is a i piece so now these two refracted rays appear to be came from a point at that point the final image is formed at which point the image is formed here that is called near point and the distance of near point from the eye is called the least distance of distinct vision and that distance we are going to get the clear image of the object okay but here the image formed by the astronomical telescope is always in real light in our time okay so now we are going to discuss about magnifying power already you know that what is the definition of magnifying power it is angle subtended by the image at the eye to the angle subtended by the object at the eye So magnifying power can be written as m is equal to two. Then the angle subtended by the image with respect to the eye that can be taken as I will take beta, and the angle subtended by the object with respect to the eye that is alpha. If it is alpha, it is also alpha. Angle subtended by the object. So see here, this is an object. The angle subtended by the object with respect to the eye that can be taken as alpha. And the angle subtended by the image with respect to the eye that can be taken as beta. That can be written as beta by alpha. Then we are going to write beta is nothing but tan beta, and alpha is nothing but tan alpha. Now let us take height of this image should be h. Height of this image is taken as h. You Now we are going to find beta and alpha. How to find beta and alpha? The distance of the image formed by the objective lens from the eyepiece is x as u v. Why it is u v? Because of distance of the image from the optical center of the eyepiece. But this image x as the object for the eyepiece. The image formed by the objective lens x as the object for the eyepiece now. Then the distance of this virtual object from the eyepiece is nothing but that is a u v. So, what about tan beta? Now, tan beta can be written as opposite side divided by adjacent side. Opposite side divided by adjacent side. Which is opposite side? H. H. Then, which is adjacent side? U B. That is minus of U B. Why it is minus of U B? Because it is at left side now. It is minus of U B. Then, divided by. Then, what about tan alpha? Again, opposite side divided by adjacent side. What is opposite side here? That is H again. But adjacent side is nothing but here. That is the focal length of the object lens. That is F O. 
and if this can be taken as positive here, then it is H by A4. Then let's H get cancelled, we will get A4 by minus of UV. Then it is a magnification produced by astronomical telescope. But when the image is formed at a near point, so I will take it as equation number 1. When image is formed at near point, When image is formed at near point, then the distance of the final image from the eyepiece can be taken as v. That v is equal to minus of v. Why it is minus of v? Because it is at left side of the eyepiece now. Okay. If we are going to measure the distances, distances in left side now, we have to take the distance as negative. Then v is equal to minus of v. Then what is the distance of the binary image from the IPC here? That is of V is equal to minus of D. Then what about the UV? So UV can be as it is, that is UV now. That is V is equal to minus of D and UV. Then by putting this one, by using the lens makers formula, sorry, by using the lens formula, what is lens formula? 1 by FP, we are going to apply the lens formula to this one. Okay, that is 1 by P is equal to 1 by P minus of 1 by UV. 1 by UV because we are going to apply the lens formula to the eyepiece. Then the focal length of the eyepiece can be taken as positive only because of the color lens having the positive focal length. Then it can be written as 1 by P is equal to 1 by P is nothing but it is a minus of 1 by P. Then here UV can be taken as minus UV, that is plus of 1 by UV. Because here the object distance is at left side now, that is why we are going to take the minus of UV. That is why minus by minus it is a plus now, that is minus of 1 by D plus 1 by UV. Then we are going to find the 1 by UV because we are going to substitute 1 by UV in the equation 1. Then what about 1 by UV here? 1 by UV is nothing but 1 by AP plus 1 by D. Then 1 by UV is equal to 1 by AP plus 1 by D. So I will write this equation as 1 by AP into 1 plus AP by D. So once again multiply this 1 by AP, this bracket will get same thing here. 1 by AP into 1, that is 1 by AP. So plus 1 by AP into AP by D, that is AP AP get cancelled, I this remains 1 by D only. Okay. So I will modify this equation as 1 by UV is equal to 1 by AP into 1 plus AP by D now. Next, by putting this value in equation 1. Putting equation 2 in 1. Putting equation 2 in equation 1. Then we will get. So what about the M is equal, sorry, what about the, the magnification now by putting 1 by UV in the place of sorry in the equation 1 now we will get M is equal to minus of FO because the FO by minus UV is there, we can write it is a minus of FO. Then what about 1 by UV? 1 by UV is nothing but that is a 1 by FP into 1 plus FP by D. FP by D. So finally we are going to write the magnification produced by the telescope when the image is formed at the least distance of distinct vision. I will write that is MD. MD means here the magnification produced by the telescope when the image is formed at the least distance of distinct vision that is nothing but near point. We can write this is minus of FO divided by FP. Then 1 plus AP divided by D. Then it is the expression for the magnification produced by the telescope when the image is formed at a near point. Then what about the length of the tube now when the image is formed at near point? What is the length here? 
it is the separation between the object to lens and eyepiece. Length of the tube. Length of the tube can be written as that is L is equal to length of the tube can be written as F O plus U V. That is the separation between object to lens and eyepiece. F O plus U V. But what about U V? So by using this formula, we are going to find U V. So U V is nothing but here. From equation two, I will take it as a equation three, and it is a equation four. Then from equation two, we are going to write from equation two. What is equation two here? That is one by U V is equal to one by U V into one plus U V by D. That is equation two. Okay. So now we required U V, but not one by U V because U V is there. Okay. So we are going to find U V now. One by U V. I will take here D as L C M. Then it is a D plus U V. D plus U V. We can write it is D plus U V. 1 into d plus f is d plus f divided by d into f. But it is a 1 by u v. But we require u v by interchanging numerators and denominators we will get the u v. Then u v is equal to d f divided by d plus f. Then by putting this equation in the equation number four, putting equation five in equation four, we will get the length of the Telescope when it is formed at near point. So L is equal to means putting equation five, putting equation five in equation four. Then L is equal to the four plus what about U V? U V is nothing but D into F. Divided by d plus of f. Then it is the formula used to find the length of the telescope when the image is formed at near point. So what is the magnification produced by the telescope when the image is formed at near point? That is m d is equal to minus of f o by minus of f o by y p minus of f o divided by y p into one plus y p divided by d n. Okay. Then what is the length of the telescope when the When the lens is formed at near point, that is L is equal to F O plus D into F P divided by D plus F P. So what negative sign indicates here? The negative sign indicates that the final image formed by the telescope is realigned inverted. Okay. Now magnification produced by telescope when the image is formed at infinity. Magnification. All right, magnifying power produced by telescope. Then the image is formed at infinity, means far point. Then after refraction, this refracted ray passes parallel to the principal axis. Okay, here the image of the distant object is formed. And where the image of the distant object is formed, the image of the distant object is formed in between 
object to match and add this. Once again, we are going to observe this image through the eye piece, then we will get the final image. Whether it is magnified, whether it is highly magnified, or whether it is only magnified. Okay. So now, let us take it as a eye piece. And eye piece having the small focal length and small aperture. These two are parallel rays. Then, whenever after refraction the rays are parallel, now, the rays are appears to be came from the infinity. Means, I will extend these two rays. They will not be meet. Then they will not be meet. The image should be formed at infinity now. So, when the image is formed at infinity now, only when the image is formed by the objective lens is at the first principal focus of the eyepiece. It is the first principal focus of the eyepiece and uh, it is the second principal focus of the objective lens and both are coincide, both are coincide then the focal length of the eyepiece can be taken as Fp means the distance of the image formed by the objective lens from the eyepiece that is uv, that uv is equal to Fp means that is equal to focal length of the eyepiece see here once again the image formed by the objective lens acts as an object for the eyepiece it is an object for this and it is an eyepiece then see the image formed by the objective lens this is the image formed by the objective lens acts as an object for the eyepiece then the distance of this object from the eyepiece can be taken as uv but that uv is equal to fp why that uv is equal to fp here? Because the image is formed at the first principal focus of the eyepiece. Whenever the object is at principal focus now, its image should be formed at infinity. Already we discussed about this one in case of formation of the image by convex lens. When the object is at principal focus, then its image should be formed at infinity. Then its final image is formed at infinity here. Okay. Now it is a objective lens and it is a eyepiece. Optical center of the objective lens can be taken as O and optical center of the eyepiece can be taken as P. Then the image, sorry, the angle subtended by the image with respect to the eyepiece means with respect to the eye that can be taken as theta and the angle subtended by the object with respect to the eye that can be taken as alpha. These two are equal angles. Okay. Then we are going to find the, what is the magnification now. Already we heard that what is the magnification produced here? Magnification produced at infinity now. Magnification produced by the telescope is nothing but that is minus of F4 divided by UV. Minus of F4 divided by UV. But when the image is formed at infinity now, what is the distance of the image from the eyepiece? That is a infinity. The distance of the final image from the eyepiece, that is a infinity. And here, uv is equal to, that is, fp. By using lens focus formula, sorry, by using lens formula, what is lens formula? 1 by fp is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by uv. Okay, 1 by v minus 1 by uv. Then, 1 by fp can be written as, that is, 1 by v is nothing but 1 by infinity, and it is a minus of minus uv. Why it is a minus of minus v? Because object distance is taken at the left side. The image formed by the objective lens acts as an object for the eyepiece now, but it is at the left of the eyepiece now. That is why object distance can be taken as minus of uv. Then minus by minus that is a plus. Then 1 by infinity is 0, that is 1 by uv. Then it is a 1 by fp. Then fp is equal to uv. Then we are going to find the what is magnification produced by using this equation again? From this equation, I will take again, it is a equation number. I hope I will take it as equation 1. From equation 1, we are going to write. From equation 1, 
we are going to write the magnification produced by telescope at the infinity that is m infinity is equal to minus of f o wherever u is there I will put a f e because e is equal to f e okay that is f o by f e then next what about length of the telescope now what is the length here it is a separation between objective lens and eyepiece it is a separation between Objective lens and eyepiece. How to find the separation between objective lens and eyepiece? By adding the distance of the means by adding the focal length of the eyepiece. So objective lens and the focal length of the eyepiece. We are, we are going to write the length of the telescope. It is a magnification produced by the telescope when the image is formed at infinity. Then length of the telescope when the image is formed at infinity. When the image is formed at infinity. Already know that what is the expression for length here? That is F O plus U V. But here U V is equal to F. Already we proved that. Then we can write L is equal to F O plus F E. Now it is the length of the telescope. So if the length of the telescope is equal to the sum of focal length of object lens and focal length of eyepiece, then the image should be formed at where infinity. Okay. So what is the magnification produced by the telescope when the image is formed at infinity? That is uh, minus of f o divided by f t. And what is the length of the telescope when the image is formed at infinity? That is l is equal to f o plus f t. Remember all those things. Here just remember the formula and the diagram. Those are very important.